Welcome back to my channel, you guys. So I'm back at you with another video. Um, so I have a series of videos coming up where I've been doing some organization and improving um, of just my house in general. Um, I'm thinking a lot of people are doing this considering there's not a whole lot going on. You can't really go out and do anything. Um, so I figured I would go ahead and share some of the process with you. And today's gonna be about my entryway. Um, so basically, I wanted to update the front of my house without being completely crazy on the budget or so um, I decided that what I would do is maybe just update the door um, and also we have a lock that well the old lock that was on the door um, actually wasn't working very well like my key would get stuck in it quite a bit um, and I figured if we're gonna go ahead and paint the door and we're gonna take off the hinges might as well update the door locks and everything get all nice and updated at the same time so um, and I'm trying to move to us having a little bit more smart technology in the house House. like I'm a little weary about everything being that way but um, just updating things that would benefit us so that's what we ended up doing so let me go ahead and get started here you're gonna see my door what it looks like right now uh, or excuse me what it looked like before um, so it was just a plain white door um, the door as far as I know hasn't really been painted or anything since it was put on the house it probably came like it's like a default door um, and the house is from 97 so there's just a lot of dirt and grossness on the door that I couldn't get off even with like special cleaners and stuff so it was always like dingy looking um, and then the doorknobs um, we had already started the process so you'll see there they're just like silver knobs that we had um, but that in the um, deadbolt excuse me was not really working that well so those are the ones that we wanted to replace so I figured if we're gonna paint the door then we'll do new hardware as well and that's what we did bought some paint at Home Depot for this project it was the bear marquee um, it was called fine wine actually we got the bear ultra is what we ordered in a semi gloss but when the guy made it, he made marquee paint, I guess, instead by accident. So he didn't charge us for the difference. So the marquee paint is actually a better paint, uh, supposedly. <laughs> so um, we actually only paid 19 for a quart of that paint versus um, the other one, which I believe was like 26. So it was, you know, a pretty good deal for us. Um, <laughs> so. That was our first furniture um, at Home Depot. And then we also got a black doorknob. That was $29.97. And then from there, so from there, we got the doorknob also at Home Depot. Um, I posted all the links in the description box so you guys can look at what these items are. Um, but that one was $29.97. Um, so we got that in the paint. Um, I'm looking down at my notes because I was like, what else did we get? Um, actually, that was just it at Home Depot. So we got those. Um, so that was our first step is getting the door painted. So um, we did that. Another reason I wanted to work on the entryway, by the way, other than just updating the house, is because of the fact that I always have dead plants on the porch, so I decided I'm just gonna buckle down and get artificial plants, because then they won't die, and they'll always look nice. So um, that was also some expenditures. Those all were through Amazon, so I will go through that right now, and that list is also in the description box. So we have the outdoor pillow covers. Those were $8.99 for two. Um, I just basically recovered the current pillows because there was nothing wrong with them. It's just they were like not really matching everything because the color theme had changed. So I just wanted something a little bit more neutral and simple. So I just got them in gray. And then the garden hose part, that's not pictured, but basically um, the one that we had was like a plastic and it just broke over time and it wasn't holding the water hose up. So the water hose was on the ground. <laughs> so I bought like a metal one and then we replaced that as well. So that was $14.99. Um, now, as far as the artificial plant pots, so the pots themselves, I already had, that was what had the dead plants in them. They were blue. I posted a video on my channel about upcycling them, so I went ahead and painted them white with like a um, stucco type finish. That way it would make them a little bit more updated. And then I put in these like white little flower, or fake flowers, you know, in them to kind of like brighten the area up. So the artificial plants were 
and then I did that times two um, because each pack had five in it which isn't really enough to quite frankly fill in the bigger pots um, so I bought two packs of that um, again at Amazon now as far as the door lock is concerned it was initially $138.99 um, but they had a $20 off coupon on the door lock um, so I used that online and then also that brought it down to $118.99 yeah so that was already a slamming deal already so that technically the total cost on that was $118.99 and then as far as the video doorbell is concerned, um, initially I wasn't planning to do that, but I thought if we're already updating everything, let's just do it all at one time. And then we found um, a video doorbell that was $89.98, excuse me, $89.95. Um, and that is by Toucan. And that's been working really well. The only negative I would say about that um, is that if you have um, let's say something that's going like moving by the motion sensor is pretty sensitive so I have mine turned down low um, because any type of like so basically <laughs> there's a couple of issues that I had and emphasis on why I spent a little bit more money to try to emphasize fixing these so one issue can you not be driving by right now okay sorry <laughs> it's like a truck goes right by while we're talking here um so the oh my gosh lost track of my thinking here um oh the video doorbell so um the one we have the regular doorbell works fine and we have a peephole in the door but a lot of times if there's like people that are like soliciting or people that are suspicious i don't want to have to go walk all the way over to the door and peep in the hole because i don't know it worries me it's kind of a little crazy or I don't have to look out the window if I can't see them really well or whatever so I just figured it would be more acceptable to have a video doorbell and then I can see who it is or it like we tend to get stuff in from Amazon or like mail in that goes on the porch and then you can tell if people are like jacking your stuff I don't know it just seems like more of a security thing um and then also the other thing I thought it could be good for which I've had happen a couple times is where you're upstairs getting dressed or something and someone comes to your house that you're expecting to come over and you're like oh crap like I can't get downstairs I'm like getting dressed or I'm in the shower or whatever then if it's that person you can actually unlock the door with the automated door lock as well and be like hey just come in you can talk to them through the camera so I figured that was kind of like another side use for that um so it's little things with like you don't scenarios you're like oh I would be kind of handy for that or that'd be handy for that um and then the things that I would say that are negative which I got distracted by so one is the night vision if there's a big bright light in front of the camera then it will tend to switch over to day mode which at night's not good because obviously you can't see that well so i ended up purchasing these other things to kind of solve that problem because the problem is there's a giant light post right in front of my porch so it's like right where the camera is so handy <laughs> but i didn't know this was a problem until obviously we installed it so what I did was I bought some of these like vines and a macrame holder and a pot and then I kind of hung them right in front of the light that way it was like blocking the camera so those were things I weren't planning to buy like I didn't need a vine out there for by any means um, but the goal was to keep and block that light coming in because that's what's messing with the camera um, so the vines were $9.99 for two packs of vines and then which I only ended up using one and then I bought like a cheap pot like a hanging pot for $2.94 and um, I wanted to get something a little cute I guess to hold it so I got a macrame holder for $5.99 um, and then that way I figured that would hold it up there and that would keep it steady I thought so problem two is that I need to put something heavier in the pot because right now I put some rocks in there but then it's blowing around and then the camera detects movement so it's still a work in progress. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do it, but I think maybe putting like something heavy, like a brick or something like that in the pot, the way it really can't cycle around and around with the wind would be helpful or maybe um, adjusting the macrame strap so that they're like more steady, like versus just holding on one hook and then it can kind of rotate. So that's something I'm still working on to be honest, um, but I noticed that the more motion detection that's going off by the camera the more it drains the battery so um, I put mine on a low sensitivity because if you have it on like even medium sensitivity like literally anything like a 
like a, a tree going shh, shh, like that, that's far away, will pick up motion and then kind of drain your battery. And it records every time that something's triggering it, which is nice for the fact that you want it to record, but you don't want it to record useless stuff like, oh, that's just a bush. You know what I mean? Like you're just wasting time and space. So those would be my only critiques with it and trying to kind of work around that. So that's something I'm still working on. And then on the porch over by like the little chairs, the chairs and the tables I already had, so I'm not including them in this, but um, my friend actually got me an elephant um, from the Goodwill. Um, and she was like, oh, I think it kind of matches your like decor and stuff. So I was trying to figure out where to put this, but then I went out and I was like, oh, I think it would look really good with the gray pillows. It was a little bit more costly than I was anticipating, but some of the stuff I knew was gonna be costly, like most of the expense of this, project was really the video doorbell as well as the doorknob um, but if you look at like let's say other companies like Google has their own door lock system and that one I believe was like over $200 so this is pretty much like the cheapest one I could find that had the best ratings and it's worked really well for us so um, that's this is it's like as budget as you can get for updating to smart technology basically the video doorbell you don't necessarily have to have so if you're on your end of it and you're just trying to update your porch just a little bit just maybe putting some new plants out and painting the door can really make a drastic difference i feel like it looks so much better than just our white door against the blue house um so i'll go ahead and show you those pictures there I'm back you guys. I just wanted to update you too. There was one other thing that I purchased. It's called a gateway. Um, and then gateway, which I did link, um, is $36.99. The gateway basically is so that when you're out of town, you have Wi-Fi accessible to the door knob when you're out of town. That's per what it's supposed to do. So for example, if we are traveling and we need someone to get into our house and we don't necessarily want to give them a key, we could set a code for the doorknob and say, okay, this code lasts 24 hours and that person has 24 hours to access the house and then once they use the code, it expires. So um, that's basically what the gateway is used for because when you're away from the doorknob far enough that it can still carry the signal so to speak does that make sense so um but otherwise like you can still use the wi-fi aspect of it from your house but it has to be within range like you're on the same network but sometimes you're out of town and you're not so that's what the gateway's for so technically you can buy it without the gateway and still use it um which we've we've done but um i figured it might be handy to have that because sometimes that might be a situation like for example where i am out and about doing something i have my keys yada yada you know george gets locked out or something then i can unlock the door for him even though i'm not directly near the lock so um that was probably um was the main reason we got the gateway so the gateway was um again 36.99 and i put that in the description as well So anyway, um, I really appreciate you guys watching and hopefully this gave you guys some ideas on maybe you can um, update your porch as well or like update an area in your house and then try to find some budget friendly things that can get you the look for less. So thanks for watching. Bye.